Hi, my name is Lias, and this is my demo for an application called ZoneMinder. It's an open source DVR solution that runs on multiple Linux distributions. You can see the ones listed on the page there, popular ones like Red Hat, Fedora, and SUSE and Debian. I use a live CD installer that is based off of Mandriva. The program has a web interface. This is what the main page looks like. I only have two cameras. Both of them are pan tilt zoom cameras. <coughs> Second one watches my son's crib. I can zoom in and out using the buttons here. I can click on the screen to control the camera around. I can also use these buttons here on the below the image, but clicking on the screen gives me more control over the camera. It lets me make small steps in my movement or larger steps depending on how far I click from the center. also have a list of presets that I've defined earlier that show areas I most commonly am monitoring. <coughs> on my second camera it watches the front door. It's in motion detection mode right now. I'm going to put it in regular monitor mode so that when I go to move it it doesn't start to record events. This one works the same way. This one's a 27 time optical zoom. It's a high speed dome camera. The one in my son's room is a 10 time optical zoom. They need as much power on that one considering it's inside. I also have several presets set up on this one. <clears throat> if the video is somewhat distorted looking, it's probably because of the program I used to record this. This camera stays on the front door. I use it to monitor anybody going in and out, and if I get a package, I'll know when I get it, and if for some reason it disappeared, I'll know who took it. It also organizes your events by hour, day, week, and month. I click on it, I can see all of the <coughs> all of the recorded events that it started recording when it saw motion. I can just click on the event and watch what happened. Also, if for whatever reason I need to export it into another format so that I can put it on a removable media, I can click on video, tell it to generate the video file. If you ever needed to use it as evidence in court, this is something you might need to do. I can save it <coughs> and watch it in any media player. Also in the events section there's something called the timeline. It shows you when the events were created for motion and as I drag the mouse over them it will play it up in the window at the top. It's a good way to go through a whole lot of video to try and find what exactly you're trying to pinpoint. Put this back in motion detection mode. Same thing on the other camera, of course. I click it, I can go look at all the events that were created. Of course, I can go into the timeline and export any of these videos. This is my son wiggling around while he's sleeping. I use version 1.23.3 of the program. The latest one as of right now on October 3rd of 2009 is 1.24.2 I believe. It's also a montage view. You can view both the cameras at once. And if you set up your port forwards, this is something you can do on the internet. Control and access the cameras from anywhere. You can view the events and anything that you'd be able to do locally. It's just going to run a little slower over the internet. And I can also cycle the cameras. It'll show me one and after a defined number of seconds it'll click over to the next one. <coughs> there 
goes puts over to the other camera. You can define all those options in the options. It's got several different options. It's where I can configure my users, system perimeters, all different kinds of configurations. When you do this on the live CD, it's a whole lot easier to do. You can find links to the downloads at zoneminder.com. If you do use the program, I recommend <coughs> donating to the developers because it is, again, free and open source. It's a very powerful program. Hope you enjoyed the demo.